Hey everyone, it's Tom from NaturalDogTrainer.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about dog safety in the summer months. Summer is a time when owners got to be extremely vigilant when it comes to dog safety. Dogs can overheat very quickly. It's important we take necessary precautions to ensure that our canine companions are healthy, happy, and safe. Here's some dog safety tips for hot weather. During the summer, we got to be particularly watchful. Um, the tips I'm about to give you are exactly how you can protect your dog. Sun protection. <laughs> this is an area that a lot of dog owners overlook and they look at me like I'm crazy when I say something about it. Um, they believe that since a dog has fur, it's going to protect them from sunburn. If you own a hairless breed, such as a Chinese crested or a breed that has short hair, pink skin, a uh, good thing would be talk to your vet about which sunscreen you should use. You don't want to use certain kinds because dogs are dogs and they're going to lick the sunscreen. So talk to your vet about what you should be using. Um, when you do use it, you got to pay a particular attention to the nose and the ears. Those guys will burn quick. It's also advisable to limit the amount of time your dog spends in direct sunlight. Now we're going to talk about avoiding heat stroke. Heat strokes are main concern on dog safety during the summer. Dogs don't dissipate as heat as well as humans. They got to pant instead of sweating. There's only really two places that they dissipate heat, and that's the pads on their feet and uh, by panting. Short-faced dogs, such as Boston Terriers, Pugs, Bulldogs, etc., they're particularly uh, susceptible to heat strokes, so keep an eye on them. Extended outdoor time in the hottest months should be limited to early morning and evening or early night. Be sure that you provide as much water as your dog needs. If, it's, if your bowl is empty and you walk by, fill it up. In order to keep your pet cool, you, a lot of people use a wet bandana. Or uh, they put it on the pet. And, yeah, or you could actually buy other, or a couple of companies out there that make a cooling vest for dogs. Um, I, thought, I believe I saw one at Petco. Uh, another thing we got to look at is poison. Spring and summer months, there there are poisons and toxins everywhere. Everybody's, you know, working in their garden, building flower beds, you know, cultivating their lawn. That means that there's a huge amount of fertilizers and insecticides being used. Use extra caution when around the areas that may pose a threat to your dog's safety. One of those things, areas you might think not, might not think about is being in the park, especially where things have just been groomed. So be careful around those. Now, in the le and now we're, as part four, we're going to talk about water safety. Most dogs swim very well. Some dogs swim great, uh, and but many dogs drown in the summer months. I mean, a lot of people like to play with their dog in the pool and that kind of thing, but if your dog decides to jump in the pool when you're not around, he might not be able to get out. Uh, if you enjoy water a lot with your dog, you might want to invest in a life, for a life preserver for him. Parasites. Parasite prevention is a year-round concern, not just the summer. Heartworms, ticks, fleas, that kind of thing, they're around all the time, but they're a little bit more pronounced in the summer. Mosquitoes, tick, heartworms, and all are at full strength. The risk of infestation is high. Speak to your vet about year-round prevention. I mean, there's stuff out there like Frontline, and uh, there's actually some, some uh, other products which are basically the same thing, but a lot cheaper. <clears throat> when you're traveling with your dog, it's important that you watch for heat stroke. This is the biggest killer of dogs in the summertime. Never leave your pet secured in the car by himself. Uh, actually, you might even want to get him a safety belt. A lot of, do a lot of uh, dog owners do that now, too. Dogs overheat quickly. And, a lot, and summer anxiety. Here's one... Uh, that is strange. Uh, some dogs are affected by storms, and it's not really the rain or anything like that. It's hypersensitivity to thunder and lightning. Uh, it's important to keep them calm. There's two remedies. You can give them tryptophan um, or chicken. Chicken, chicken has tryptophan in it. Uh, Benadryl capsules have diphenhydramine in it, and they relax your pet just, just like tryptophan. Uh, take a few precautions in the summer to keep your pet safe. You can use the tips in this video to ensure that your summer is full of fun, excitement, and dog safety. This is Tom from NaturalDogTrainer.com. Feel free to stop by, grab some more videos, uh, take a look at some articles and guides, and we hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.